Not every day you get to see a drill smoking. <laughs> hey guys, Brad here. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a hole saw. Now these are Lennox. They're a great, great hole saw. If you're into drilling big holes, these guys definitely know what they're doing with their products. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe, hit that notify bell, and give me a thumbs up if you like the video because it definitely helps us out. But these are not your everyday bits, all right? These ones are carbide tipped, so they're very fancy. And I've got three of them here. I've got a one inch, a two inch, and a two and five eighths. We're actually gonna try and drill a hole through some three eighths plate steel here and see if we can make a dent in this thing because I'm a little bit, you know, on the fence if this is actually gonna work. I've never used them, they're brand new and we're gonna give it a shot, okay? So, I've just got a, I don't know what bit this is. It's a quick connect. I'll try and find a link for this stuff. I'll leave it all down below for you. These ones are pretty good how they clip in. You can just sort of set these on all your bits, lock them in place. This is not a Lennox bit, this is obviously. Okay, let's get to it. I'm gonna have to put on my ears here because I have a feeling this is gonna be a little bit high pitch. And I'm not using a centering bit. Okay, all I've done is taken a piece of Baltic birch, drilled a two inch hole in it, and that is gonna be sort of my guide until I get going because I don't wanna cook a bit in the middle. There's just no point. So we'll lock this down. All right. And we'll see if this is gonna work. So far, I'm getting some metal shroud up here. So it's definitely digging in. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, we're definitely making a hole, guys. It's definitely working. I'm gonna keep this around here for now, and then I'll try and take it off once I get halfway through. Okay, I think I'm about halfway through. So let's just take a look. And it's definitely making a hole. I can't believe this. This is awesome. Yeah, we're getting there. I'm super afraid this drill is going to bind up on me when I start to poke through. So I'm really holding this tight. Well, as you can see, it's definitely doing it. For my own safety, I don't think I'm gonna drill anymore. My drill's starting to smoke. This is a really old drill that uh, I've, I've had it smoking on me a couple times. I think, uh, I don't know, let me, We're gonna up the safety here, boys. All right. I could just really feel it reefing on me. So this does not have any kind of bind up control on it. And that's just something I'm nervous about wrenching my wrist, right? 
So let's keep going. Let's just do it. And we're going to pop a new battery in too. Let's go flex full. All right. Look at my drill. Look at that. See the smoke? Not every day you get to see a drill smoking. <laughs> We're going to switch drills. All right. Before we start a fire. That stinks. Something wicked. Let's, uh, let's go to the Atomic. See if this can handle it. Yeah, see, this is one thing when you're drilling with steel. This is why I always, you know, a torch is better. <laughs> but it's not like wood, right? When this thing binds, you're binding up your drill. And so it's super aggressive. The teeth on this look like they're fine, to be honest. Yeah, it's a little worn out on the side, but this thing has still got a lot of life left in it. Well, I think I'm going to call it, guys. I really don't want to burn out this drill, and I really don't want to uh, hurt myself anymore. So you can see it's definitely working. We're into that. We're almost all the way through. And, yeah, I, I know just from experience drilling holes, if that catches, it's going to hurt. So these Lennox bits, you know, if you have to drill a hole, it's going to work. Um, that is nothing but impressive right there. And uh, I, I highly recommend these bits. If you guys need to drill a hole through steel, there's nothing wrong with these at all. Super awesome. They're not even that expensive, you know, under 50 bucks. I think this one was like 20 or $30, something like that. We'll leave some links down below if we can find them. But um, yeah, pretty awesome bits, guys. Very, very impressive. Leave some comments down below, subscribe, hit that notify bell. Till next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.